Hello, I'm Mrs. Sapp from Evans Elementary, and today I will be teaching you a fourth grade math lesson over symmetry. And the code word today to let your teacher know is tiger. So let's get started. Before we can get started though, let's make sure that our mind and our body is calm, alert, and ready to learn. We're going to get on Go Noodle and do a moose tube channel, and we are going to do bear breath. Listen out for some really cool facts about bears and how they breathe. Breaths per minute, but when they hibernate, yeah. <laughs> bears usually take six to 10 breaths per minute. But when they hibernate, they only take one breath every 45 seconds. Oh, that's a very little breath. <laughs> to get your bear breath on, sit down and get really comfortable. Hmm. Inhale through your nose, pause, and count one, two, three. And exhale again before counting one, two, three. Try it. Oh, these bear breaths are very relaxing. Get comfy, close your eyes, or keep them open, and let's take 10 big bear breaths. Ready? In, two, three. Out, two, three. In, two, three. Out, two, three. In, two, three. Then out, two, three. One. Two, three. One, two, three. Breathe in. Two, three. And out. Two, three. In. Two, three. Now out. Two, three. Breathe. One, two, three. Out. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Breathe in. Two, three. Breathe out. Two, three. Breathe in. Two, three. Breathe out. Two, three. Ah, uh, I think Fabio just fell asleep. Do moose hibernate? I hope you enjoyed those nice, calm, and relaxing breaths so that we can be calm, alert, and ready to learn today. Let's go over our objectives. I can recognize lines of symmetry in two-dimensional objects. I can identify figures that have lines of symmetry. Let's go over the definition of symmetry first. Symmetry is having one side that exactly mirrors the other. If you look at this butterfly right here, there is a, a line going down the middle, a vertical line, and if you were to fold that butterfly in half, it would match perfectly exactly. A line of symmetry divides a shape in half. And sometimes you can have more than one line of symmetry, two, three, four, sometimes eight or even more. However, some shapes don't have lines of symmetry at all. You can't fold it in half for it to match exactly. Let's watch a Number Rocks video about Welcome to Symmetry Land. We know that there is symmetry all around us in this world, so let's watch this fun video from Number Rocks and see if you can point out the lines of symmetry. We're in line to ride the Ferris wheel A circular shape made out of steel Before we ride, we try to decide Where are circles, lines of symmetry hide Lines to the center have symmetry So each circle has infinity Each line 
upon further inspection creates a perfect mirror reflection. Pirate ship, we wait our turn. This wreck can make our stomachs churn. A line from the axle to the ground. There's one line of symmetry to be found. Identical parts, parts facing each other. Uh, have symmetry yeah. with one another. Woo! Lines of symmetry evenly divide. divide. Let's find symmetry on every ride. Everywhere we look, we see lines of We see the roller coasters loop de loop as a line of symmetry between the group. A mirror reflection on each side is where the lines of symmetry hide. Then we see a mirror and realize symmetry disguised right between our eyes. A line divides each side of our face. Yeah. We see symmetry all Everywhere over the place. We And we've got a hunch that symmetry's in the food we'll munch. We look at a cracker, it's a square. We see four lines of symmetry there. To the four corners, they were gone, yeah, leaving yeah, us with a cracker yeah. octagon. We looked a bit closer than to see the regular yeah, octagon's eight yeah, lines of symmetry. Visit numberrock.com for exclusive content, lesson materials, and more. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video on symmetry and know that there is symmetry all around us. Whether you're eating a cracker, you see a butterfly flying around, or even your face is symmetrical. To help determine lines of symmetry, there's three kind of lines that we can draw. A horizontal line goes from left to right, a vertical line top to bottom, and a diagonal line corner to corner. These are the three ways that we're going to use today to figure out if our shapes have lines of symmetry. Now I'm going to show you some different shapes and some different letters and show you the lines of symmetry in each. Let's start out with a heart. A heart does have a line of symmetry. It actually has a vertical line of symmetry. I can fold this heart in half and it matches up perfectly. Nothing is overlapping. There's no extra pieces around it. So this heart has one vertical line of symmetry. Now let's look at a triangle. Triangles can be tricky though because you have to look at the lengths of the sides. We would call this an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle have two sides that are the same and one side that is different. First let's try to fold this horizontally, top to bottom. That doesn't quite match up. That won't work. Let's try diagonal. Same thing. There's extra at the top and at the bottom. It doesn't quite work. But if we fold it vertically, 
we can see that there is one line of symmetry on this triangle. And the reason that worked is because two of our sides were equal. Not only do shapes have lines of symmetry, but sometimes letters do as well. Here's the letter C. The letter C has one line of symmetry. If you fold it horizontally, it matches up. Let's look at another letter. Let's look at the letter F. Think for a moment. Do you think that the letter F has a line of symmetry? Can we fold this in any way for it to match up, kind of like a mirror? Not with this one. You could try top to bottom. No. You can try to fold it horizontally. That just looks messy. The letter F does not have any lines of symmetry. There's no way to fold it for it to match up. Let's look at the letter H. With the letter H, you can actually fold this in more than one way. Some shapes and objects have more than one line of symmetry. You can actually fold this one horizontally, matches up, it kind of looks like a little table. You can also fold this vertically, just like this, it matches up perfectly. So the letter H has two lines of symmetry. Now let's look at another triangle because triangles can be tricky. This triangle has three different side lengths, seven, six, and four. We would classify this triangle as a scalene triangle. And because none of our sides are equal, this triangle will not have any lines of symmetry. You could try to fold it, but it just doesn't match up. It just doesn't work, no matter if you do horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. Now let's see if you can figure out lines of symmetry in the following shapes. Here we have a rectangle. Are there lines of symmetry? And if so, how many? Zero, one, two, three or more. Let's think about it. Could you fold this shape either vertically, horizontally, or diagonally? If you said there are two lines of symmetry, you would be correct. You can make a horizontal fold and a vertical fold. There are two lines of symmetry in a rectangle. Like right here, I could fold it horizontally and it matches up. I can fold it vertically and again, matches up. A lot of people think that you can do diagonal as well on a rectangle, but since not all sides are equal, it's not quite gonna work. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take these two corners here and match them up. And that does not show a line of symmetry. It is not symmetrical. Let's try another one. And remember, the code word for today is tiger. Here we have an arrow. Ask yourself, can this be folded vertically, horizontally, or diagonally to show a line of symmetry? And if so, is there zero, one, two, three, or more? If you said two, great job. This shape can also be divided horizontally and vertically to match up just right. Good job if you got it. Let's try another. Here we have a square. A square is a quadrilateral with all four sides the exact same length. So, does a square have lines of symmetry? And if so, how many? Take a moment and think about it. A 
a square actually has more than three lines of symmetry. It actually has four. Diagonal, vertical, and horizontal. Here I have my square. I can fold it horizontal. Matches up perfectly. I can fold it vertically. Looks just like a mirror image. I can also fold it diagonally both ways. Way number one matches up. Way number two matches up. So a square has four lines of symmetry. Now it's your turn to practice and see if you can find lines of symmetry. On number one, which image is symmetrical? Which image could you draw vertical or horizontal lines through to show symmetry? And number two, which ones of these show a line of symmetry the correct way? So I'm gonna give you a minute to think about it. Again, number one, which image shows symmetry? And two, which shows a line of symmetry? Let's see how you did. On number one, we should have picked C for the sun. You can actually make a vertical and a horizontal line to show the lines of symmetry. And on number two, our answer would be A. A diagonal line would match those arrows up just perfectly. The other ones wouldn't match up just right. So, how'd you do? Now I have a fun extension activity for you to try at home. You can do some artwork and I want you to be creative. All you need is a piece of paper and some crowns, markers, whatever you like. What you're gonna do is fold your paper in half. You can fold it vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. And what you're gonna do is make an image on just one side of the paper, but make sure it is on the crease of the paper. Then your job is to see if you can make it symmetrical on the other side of the paper. It's gotta match up just perfectly. Think about the colors you're using even. Have fun with it. I hope you enjoyed your lesson today on symmetry. Again, fourth grade math. I am Mrs. Sapp from Evans Elementary, and your code word today is TIGER.